It's story time with Granny Judy. Are you ready to go? Curly hair, red armchair. That's how it happens, the magic we share. Let's read together, laugh and see what happens in this story in front of me. Words and pictures, I'll follow along and as a reader I'll be. Hello, my name's Granny Judy. I'm so glad you could join me for story time today. You know, I just love writing and reading stories and sharing them with others. And I've chosen a special story to share with you today, and it's called When Joni Came to Stay. And it's based on a true story. So just like our song says, are you ready to go? Let's read when Joni came to stay. But before we do, let's have a little look at the cover. Who do you think Joni might be? Where do you think she went to stay? I wonder who else might be in the story. Let's find out when Joni came to stay. Cassie and David went on a holiday. So Joni came to stay. What is this place? Where have they left me? Hello, my gorgeous girl. Who is that woman? She is very persistent. Hello, my gorgeous girl, cutie pie. Shall we play, asked Granny Judy. But Joni was not very sure. Just leave me alone. She arched her back. Her bushy black tail waved slowly up and down. Perhaps I should just leave you to look around, Granny Judy said. So that is what she did. Thank goodness. A bit of quiet. Now let me get my bearings. This dinner looks quite nice. First, Joni sat at the top of the stairs. I can see lots from up here. I suppose this could be okay. She looked around and looked around again. Actually, this does look sort of okay. She sat there for a very long time. After a while, Granny Judy said, Hello, my gorgeous girl, cutie pie, noshy nish. Shall we play? But Joni was still not very sure. Oh no, she's back. She really wants to play, maybe in a little while. She is very enthusiastic, I'll give her that. Perhaps I should just leave you to look around some more, said Granny Judy. Hmm, I wonder what Joni's found. I can't quite get that thing. Joni moved, but after a while she was not there. I'm out of here. I really don't want to play. Granny Judy looked and looked and looked. Joni, Joni, where could Joni be? Oh dear me, surely I could not have lost you. Where could Joni be? Granny Judy called. Mm, I think she might be under the bed. Hello, my gorgeous girl, cutie pie, noshy niche plum pudding. Shall we play? asked Granny Judy. If you think I'm coming out, you have a long wait. But Joni was still not very sure. Oh, well, I will have to leave you to look around some more. Hmm, this looks interesting. What's Joni found now? What's this? Surely not Christmas already. Here's Joni on the bookshelf. A few good books here. She's really looking round now. That was when Joni found her favourite spot. She sat on the very top of the armchair in the upstairs sitting room. Not bad up here. Not bad at all. 
from there, she could see everything that was going on in the little street below. I'm loving this view. Joni sat and sat and looked and looked. I could sit here all day. What do you think she saw? First, she noticed the birds flying past the window. Then she spotted a possum sleeping in the tree. She saw Steve doing the weeding. Hmm, is that Steve weeding in those bushes? She saw Russ bringing in his rubbish bin. Bin day. That's right, it's Monday. She saw Ben walking with his dog. That's Ben walking with his dog, Taj. Then, after a while, she noticed Granny Judy sitting in the armchair nearby. I think that's Granny Judy sitting in that armchair. This time, Joni slowly walked over and put her paw on Granny Judy's knee. So, you decided to come over. Oh, there you are, my gorgeous girl. Cutie pie, noshy niche, plum pudding and box of tricks, laughed Granny Judy. Shall we play? So they did. I do like this game. It's cool. Hide and seek, one of my faves. They played and played and played until Joni was so tired that she fell asleep. I'm getting tired, however. Zzz. That night, when Granny Judy sat in the armchair, Joni crept over and jumped on her knee. You're my new bestie, she thought. Hello, my gorgeous girl. Granny Judy smiled and said, Hello, my gorgeous girl, cutie pie, noshy niche plum pudding, box of tricks and darling heart. Shall we sit together quietly? So that is what they did. Purr, purr, purr. Joni purred and purred and purred as they both sat very quietly enjoying the evening together. And Joni went on to have lots of lovely adventures at Granny Judy's house. Here are just a few. story. Thanks so much for joining me today for When Joni Came to Stay. I really enjoyed sharing that story with you and I hope you'll join me again soon. If you would like your own copy of this book, the information is on the screen. But that's it for today. Bye bye until next time. It's story time with Granny Judy. Are you ready to go? Curly hair, red armchair. That's how it happens, the magic we share. Let's read together, laugh and see what happens in this story in front of me. Words and pictures, I'll follow along and as a reader I'll be. Curly hair, red armchair, that's how it happens, the magic we share.